Our homes need energy. Whether it's cooking breakfast in the morning, checking email, or now even driving across the country, most of our lives depend on electricity. And solar is key to making sure our future stays bright. So when Tesla reaches out and asks you if you want to take part in an exclusive first look at one of the new products, I, I cross my fingers and hoping I was going to be getting behind the wheel of the Cybertruck. But when they tell you it's part of their solar line, it's their new solar glass roof, I still got kind of equally excited. But before we get there, let's start just a little bit closer to home. Solar, like most technology, has evolved. It used to be really expensive and didn't necessarily give you that much for your return, but things are changing. The cost for the panels are going down. They can generate more electricity. They're less of an eyesore than they used to be. And the case for adding solar to your home is making more and more sense. So if you decide you want to get a solar setter from Tesla, you pretty much have three options. You can get the traditional panels that are installed on your current roof, which is kind of what we're used to seeing. You now have the new solar glass roof. And for either of those, you can add Tesla's Powerwall batteries to get the most out of your system. So I've been living with Tesla Solar for a little over a year now. So I've got traditional panels. And I also decided to install two of Tesla's Powerwall 2 battery packs. So I moved into a new house about three years ago. It gets hot here in California in the summer, so I was running my air conditioning at night. And one of the surprise expenses that I saw was my electric bill. In the summer months, my electric bill was reaching as high as $550. It was really high and something I didn't anticipate as an expense when I first moved. And I've been looking at solar for a while. Somebody who drives electric cars, it always seemed something that I was going to do eventually. But sort of seeing how much my electric bill was sped up that process. So I ended up settling on an 11.375 kilowatt array on my roof and I decided to go for two Tesla Powerwall 2s. Those are the external battery packs. Each one's about 13.5 kilowatts. And the government again was running some incentives. Kind of the more you spent, the bigger your tax credit was. So for the solar panels on the roof and for my two Powerwall 2s, it came to about $49,000. And I certainly didn't have $49,000 in cash to pay for it. I was able to finance it with relatively low interest and no prepayment penalty so that my monthly bill for all the solar stuff I had came in at about $250. So in the hot months, I was saving about $250. In the cooler months, I was saving about 75 to 80 bucks. So every month I was saving money I added value to my home by putting the solar on there and I could use my electricity now without really having to worry about it. So that's what my experience with traditional solar panels that kind of we're all used to has been like. But when Tesla reached out and asked if I wanted to see what a real house with a solar glass roof was like, I had to check it out. This is one of only a few houses in the world that have this tech right now. And I was pumped to see it and compare it to the solar that kind of we're all used to seeing. I don't know what I was expecting in my head, but when I saw it, it just looked like a really nice roof. I think I was expecting it to look like solar panels all across the roof, but the aesthetic of it is just a really nice modern roof. I think that goes to the simplicity and the beauty of the product. And every tile you see on the roof doesn't have to be a solar tile. In fact, it wasn't when we went out to this gentleman's house. You can pick how many of the tiles actually have the solar capabilities built into them. You can adjust or scale up or down depending on how much electricity you want to generate. So Tesla made a lot of headlines, I think, especially with the Gen 2 of the solar roof. They showed different tiles, different versions, and it ended up being more difficult to deliver. Here with the third gen, there's only one aesthetic. And because there's only one aesthetic, it seemed like Tesla was able to fine tune it a lot. So now the solar cells inside of these tiles are 65% bigger than last generation. The tiles themselves are much larger, so there's less gap in between the tiles. It's a lot easier for roof installers to install these things, so the install time isn't months anymore. It's the same install time as a normal roof. So I think the big question here is the cost. I think everything sounds awesome, but you have to pay for it. So I want to know what the cost savings was, if any, by installing this roof versus a ordinary, you know, generic roof that most people have on their houses. So I went to 
The best nerd I know, sort of the expert in crunching these numbers, Ben Solins of Teslanomics. Thanks, John. Let's break down the costs here of this solar roof installation. The total cost here was just under $65,000, and that was for a 9.2 kilowatt photovoltaic solar system. Now, this also includes the price of a power wall. So at $8,000 average, let's remove that, giving us a new total of just over $56,000 that they paid for the roof and the photovoltaic solar system. Now, the way that you look at this typically is a price per watt. So take that 9.2 kilowatts and convert it to watts, so 9,200 watts, divide that by the 56,000 and change dollars it costs for the system, and you're right at $6.12 per watt. This is pretty high, considering the average in California is right around $3.44, which is up slightly from when I got my solar panel system about five years ago, so it makes sense that typically you're paying a lot less than this $6 a watt price. In fact, if you were to take the average in California of $3.44 per watt and multiply it times the 9,200 watts here, you're looking at a price of $31,648 before any incentives. So that's the solar part of the equation here. The other part is the roof, and this is kind of difficult because the cost for roofs vary greatly. You're looking at $11,200 for asphalt, $38,400 for metal, $80,000 for tile and over $100,000 for slate. So the final answer here is that if you were to look at an asphalt roof and redo the roof with that, plus the solar panel system using the average rates here in Southern California, you would actually spend $42,848, which is just under $14,000 cheaper than what the solar roof costs in this case. Now, I think it's a fair thing to argue that this is not an average roof and is something that is more akin to one of the higher end materials. So if you look at those, a metal roof would cost just over $70,000, which would be about $13,263 more expensive than the Tesla solar roof. A tile roof would cost over $111,000 and be almost $55,000 more expensive. And the slate roof is just ridiculous here, looking at over $134,000, which would be $77,000 more expensive than the Tesla solar roof. So the Tesla solar roof here, in this case, appears to be a pretty good value because it is not your low end common type of roof. It is much higher end than that, but it is cheaper than all of the high end options given the functionality and the amount of roof that's being covered. So I hope that analysis helped there. And yeah, feel free to ring me anytime you need some numbers crunch. Solar panels was a huge step for homeowners and taking control of their power usage in their house. The solar glass is for that next step. So I think anybody who needs a new roof, but also lives in a state where you have more sunny months than rain or snow, I think the solar glass makes a ton of sense. If you're paying for a new roof anyway, that's expensive. So for a little bit more, and if you wanna step up the materials you put that roof on, you get the benefits of a new roof, you get the cost savings of solar, and everything's done while looking aesthetically. Really pleasing. So solar aside, I think what really makes these systems work as well as they do are the power walls. You can get them for both types of solar installations and essentially they're just big batteries that can help power your home. You can scale them up or just have one, but they allow you to store and then use your solar energy even when the sun is down. And I set my house up a little bit differently. So you control all of this through the Tesla app. And you would think that when it's sunny out, you're gonna use the solar. When it's dark out, you switch over to the power walls. That's not necessarily how I set it up or how I was advised to set it up. The electricity you generate from your house, obviously you can use for your house, but there's a lot of extra that's not being used. In California, at least, you can sell that electricity back to the electric company, so in my case, Edison. So I can actually make money by selling back to Edison electricity that I'm generating. In the morning, sun comes up, I'm using the solar panels to charge my power wall batteries. So when I get to peak hours, so electricity is the most expensive, like mid morning to afternoon, I'm actually using the power walls during that time. And I'm selling electricity that I'm generating on the roof back to Edison. And then at night when electricity gets cheaper, I'm now using the grid to power my house at night. And should there be a power outage at night, they always keep a little bit of battery in the power walls to keep, to keep things running. So by the time this is all said and done, on the hot months, like the electric company generally ends up owing me money. It all runs through the app and the app does a couple cool things. So it can detect if there's a storm warning for your area and automatically set the power walls to not drain below a certain level. So you have 
that reserve power if you need it. So my power walls and through my app knew that there was rolling blackouts happening and that there was huge winds that were going on and they set the power walls to retain that power. And when we had that blackout, all my lights did was flicker for a second and everything kept running as normal. I didn't even know that we had lost power. I actually had to go into the app to check if we'd had any power loss. You can use the solar as power generation and the battery packs as sort of energy storage and your house always has that power. And if you add enough power walls and enough solar, you don't need to be connected to the grid at all if you don't want to. But I like the peace of mind. I like knowing that if I never needed to, I could run my whole house without having any electricity being pulled from a dirty source. It was just a nice peace of mind for me to sort of keep my house running, you know, lit up. So whether you have solar panels or the solar glass roof or the power walls as well, I think the beauty of the whole system is that you don't really have to think about it. But once I got this all installed, I set the app once and I haven't really thought about it since. That's the awesomeness of the ecosystem. And that's where I think a company like Tesla that clearly has an advantage in this space, bring something new to an industry like solar that was kind of flat for a long time. I like the peace of mind of solar. My wallet like the cost savings. And I like the green factor as well. I think when you factor all of that together, it's a really winning combination.